Hi students, today we're going to go over Unit 3, Module 1, Session 2, Finding Equivalent Expressions. Number 1 says match each fraction expression on the top with an equivalent decimal expression on the bottom. So here we see 4 tenths plus 20 hundredths. So I'm looking for maybe like a 4 and a 2. And I see only one of them has 4 and a 2. So it's going to be this, and I can guarantee that this is the correct answer because I can see the 4 is in the 10th place, the 2 is in the 10th, but I see there's a 0 here, that means it's 20 hundredths, so this matches the first one. Next I see 60 hundredths minus 1 tenth, so I'm looking for sub a subtraction problem. There's only 2, which one is a match? This first one. Next I see four hundredths plus three tenths, right here the first one. Next I see fourteen tenths, seventy-five hundredths. So only one of them do I see the fourteen seventy-five together, and this is here. Fourteen tenths, seventy-five hundredths, match it up. Next I have fifteen hundredths minus one tenth, Looks like it's the last one. And we have 14 one hundredths plus 12 hundredths. It looks like it's this third one. Number two says evaluate it each expression. Represent your answer as both a fraction and a decimal. So A is 60 hundredths minus 25 hundredths. And just in my head, I can say what's 60 minus 25? And you're right, that's 35, so the answer is 35 hundredths. And so 35 hundredths as a fraction is also going to equal this, 35 over 100. And we've talked about simplifying fractions, so this can be simplified to 7 twentieths. So it could be 70 hundredths minus 55 hundredths. What does that equal? I think 70 minus 55. You're right, that equals 15. So it equals 15 hundredths. So we're gonna write that as a fraction, 15 hundredths. And we know simplified, that also equals 3 twentieths. Let's go to C. 2 tenths plus 5 hundredths. So I can think of that as money. 20 cents plus 5 cents equals 25 cents. And as a fraction, we have, that's 25 hundredths, or I know that's also equal to one quarter or one fourth. 40 hundredths minus one tenth. I know that one tenth is also the same as 10 hundredths. So 40 hundredths minus 10 hundredths, what does that equal? 30 hundredths. That's right. As a decimal, showing 30 hundredths, looks like this. And the next one, E, 4 tenths plus 60 hundredths. So I know that 4 tenths is the same as 40 hundredths. And so that would be 40 hundredths plus 60 hundredths equals 100 hundredths. Now if you're saying Mrs. Dunlap, doesn't it also equal 1? Yes, you're correct. That equals 1 whole. So the decimal, it would just be 1 whole. And let's look at F. It says 9 tenths plus 30 hundredths. So again, I know that 9 tenths is the same as 90 hundredths. 90 hundredths plus 30 hundredths equals, that's right, 120 hundredths. What do we call that type of fraction? An improper fraction, because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And so as a mixed number, that would be 1 and 1 fifth. We also need to show that as a decimal. So one and one fifth as a decimal would be one and twenty hundredths. Number three says so students at Jonah's school can walk or run laps at recess. At the end of each month, the class that has covered the most distance is recognized by the parent group. Jonah and Haley walked four and one third laps around the track yesterday and three and a half laps today. How many laps did they walk together in the last two days? Show your work. 
So it's asking me how many laps did they walk together in the last two days. Haley walked four and one third yesterday and today they walked three and a half laps. So we're going to add that up. Four and one third plus three and one half. And so I know that equals seven and then what's the fraction? One third plus a half. Well, I know if I'm thinking about time, one third is the same as 20 minutes and one half is 30 minutes. That's 20 sixtieths and 30 sixtieths. So that's the same as 50 sixtieths. So we can say seven and 50 sixtieths. But now we've talked about simplifying fractions. This can be simplified. We know it can be simplified to five sixths. So the answer would be seven and five six laps that they walk together. Looking at B, Jonah ran one and three fourths laps on Monday, two and three tenths laps on Tuesday, and six and one fifth, fifth laps on Wednesday. How much farther did he run on Wednesday than the other two days combined? So it's asking us how much farther did he run on Wednesday than the other two days combined? So Monday one and three fourths, Tuesday two and three tenths. Wednesday six and one half. So first I need to add up what is one and three four slaps plus two and three ten slaps, the ones he ran on Monday and Tuesday. So three fourths, I can think of it as money. That's 75 cents. And then I know that three tenths would be like three dimes. So that'd be like 30 cents. Together that equals four four dollars and five cents. And so now we are asked um, how much farther did he run on Wednesday than the other two days? So again, Wednesday was six and a half laps. How can I change that to a decimal? Or excuse me, not six and a half, but six and one fifth. Thinking about mon money, one fifth of a dollar is how many cents? That's right, one fifth of a dollar is 20 cents. So we have six and 20 hundredths compared to four and five hundredths. So when I compare those two, I'm going to subtract to find the difference. And I see that I have two and 15 hundredths difference. So the unit there is two and 15. Two and fifteen hundredths laps more on Wednesday. Number four says Jonah and Haley made brownies to bring to, as a class treat. Some were plain and some had sprinkles. The class ate three fourths of one pan and one sixth of another pan of the plain brownies. They ate five sixths of one pan and one tenth of another pan of brownies with sprinkles. If the brownie pans were the same size, did a class eat more plain brownies or more brownies with sprinkles? Well, so let's go back to our information here. So I see the class ate three-fourths of one pan and one-sixth of another pan, and those are the plain, plain brownies. As for the ones with sprinkles, they ate five-sixths of one pan and one-tenth of another pan with sprinkles. So we need to compare the plain to the sprinkles. So let's think, what's three-fourths plus one-sixth? That's how much, much they ate of the plain brownies. So I can think of this as time. So three-fourths in time would be 45 minutes or 45 sixtieths. One-sixth, thinking about time, would be 10 minutes or 10 sixtieths. 45 sixtieths plus 10 sixtieths equals 55 sixtieths. And then let's compare the ones with sprinkles. You need to add up five-sixths plus one-tenth. I can again think of time, five-sixths of a clock would be 50 minutes, 50 sixtieths, one-tenth would be six sixtieths, 50 sixtieths plus six sixtieths equals 56 sixtieths. So again, the question is, if the brownies were the same size, what did the class eat more plain or sprinkles? And the answer is sprinkles. How much more? You're going to have to solve 56 sixtieths, subtract 55 sixtieths, and the answer is 
1 60th more. They ate. Last one for the challenge, a coach took his team out for pizza for their last game. There were 14 players, so they had to sit in smaller groups at different tables. Six players sat at one table and got four small pizzas to share equally. The other eight players sat at a different table and got six small pizzas to share equally. Afterwards, one of the players said it wasn't fair because some kids got more pizza than others. Do you agree? Use numbers, words, or label sketches to explain your answer. So let's think about this. Some were at a table of six players with four pizzas. So we think right there, what is it that we're dividing? We're dividing four divided by six players. So four divided by six players. And then the other table, there were eight players who got six small pizzas to share. And so in that case, it is six piece pizzas divided by eight players. So it's asking which one got more pizza than the other. Some players were eating four sixths of a pizza, others were eating six eighths of a pizza. So which one is more? Some kids got more pizza than others. Do you agree? So let's first talk about simplifying these fractions or reducing them. Four sixths is the same as two thirds and six eighths is the same as three fourths. And so even if I think about time, what's two thirds of an hour? This would be the same as 40 sixtieths or 40 minutes and three fourths an hour would be 45 minutes or 45 sixtieths. And I already know that 45 sixtieths is greater than 40 sixtieths. And so afterwards, I'm going back to the directions. One of the players said it wasn't fair because some kids got more pizza than others. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Those who were eight players sharing six pizzas got just a little bit more than the other guys did. So yes, I agree.